Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back to the channel. My name is Arion and today we have like a little fun chill day planned. Today's a Tuesday and I decided to just take a random day off. I had like another day I needed to use before our PTO system reset. So I was like, let me just take this Tuesday off and just have a me day. So I'm excited. I haven't really had like a full me day in a while. It's like 10 o'clock right now and I was like honestly the best day to go to the mall would be a weekday because hopefully people are at work and there'll be less lines. So we're gonna go to two malls today which is kind of crazy but no mall has all the stores I want to go to so we're gonna go to the Florida mall and our main reason for going to the Florida mall is to go to Forever 21 and Zara then we're gonna go to Mall at Millennia because they have Aritzia and Abercrombie. I really want to go to Abercrombie today because I really want some new jeans and I'm not necessarily going to buy them today. Like honestly, I'm really going into today without the mindset that I'll be buying things. If I really want something, I'll get it, but I'm just not going to just frivolous, frivolously spend money. But I really like the Abercrombie Curve Love jeans just based off of what I've heard from other people. So I want to try them on for myself and see if they're like worth it for me so and actually before i go to millennia i'm gonna look around at the other malls in the orlando area and see if any of them have abercrombie because maybe i'll go there instead of the mall at millennia because aritzia always has cute stuff but i refuse to pay the aritzia prices like those are just out of my price range like and they have nice stuff but it's like not right now you know or, or maybe if there was something i really needed like if i really needed the black exercise skirt okay you know but still paying $95 for an exercise skirt is kind of crazy in my opinion. Anyway, we are dressed. We have to put our shoes on. I also want to submit a maintenance request because my dishwasher randomly is not working. So that's a little disappointing. But I'm going to submit that maintenance request. Hopefully they handle that while I'm out. And then we're going to be on our way. It would be ideal to get a snack so that I'm not like starving. But I don't really have anything. I could make a PB&J. Which I probably should because that'll hold me over for a little bit versus if I have nothing, I'm going to have to get food in the next hour. So yeah, let's make a pb and j submit our maintenance request, put our shoes on, and then we out. Sorry, it's so dark. Literally, shades are closed, barely any lights are on, but it is oops, pb and j time. So I'm going to scroll on TikTok, eat my pb and j Can someone tell me why every time I fall in love, it seems to be temporarily turn down the AC because it's blasting it's not even that hot outside but my car is hot <sighs> guys we explored the Florida mall I feel like I've been there before I have like a faint memory of being there it was good only thing I actually purchased was the leather jacket which I'll try on for you guys later and then I got these two little necklaces from forever 21 um, I'm actually pretty hungry right now so I wanted to get Shake Shack, but 
their mobile app isn't working. So I'm gonna find something else. It, I, wherever I go, I wanna like sit in my car and eat it. So I'm gonna see if I see anything around the mall or something on the way to Millennium Mall. I was really craving cheese fries. So we'll get something around that. Overall, the mall was nice. Uh, let's see how many steps we took. Let's see, health, where's health? I feel like we took a lot. I don't know, 5,000 steps? I think we hit two miles. 4,000 steps, which is equivalent to, oh, it doesn't have the miles that I walked. That's a lot. And we're about to go to another mall, so. We got Culver's. And I'm watching some YouTube. Beyonce started dating Kevin Durant. Um, opportunity. I'm not taking anything away from Taylor Swift. All right, friends, we have made it to the mall at Millennia. This is probably gonna be pretty quick because I really only want to go in Abercrombie and probably Aritzia, that's likely it. If somewhere else captures my eye, we'll stop, but I don't really anticipate anything capturing my eye. Oh, I'm also parked near Macy's, so we'll probably stop at Macy's as well. But um, yeah, then I'm gonna go home and relax and get some work done. Not for work, but for personal life work. And then get ready for my Yelp event tonight. So wait, did I tell you guys about the Yelp event? Ooh. Let me think on that. If I didn't, I'll tell y'all about it later. Let's go. Ever since I was little, ever since I was little, I knew what I wanted. I used to see it, used to want it, then I got it, yeah, yeah. You got me sweating a little. Playing hard to get, got me singing your favorite song Is it working? Am I closer than my last try? Never thought, never thought, never thought I would still hold on After all that's been said and done, done. I go around and I go around and I go around I go around, I'm always out, I am always out so much longer than I had wanted us to be, but it's okay because I literally got everything that I wanted on today's mall run, which never happens. So I can't wait to show you guys everything. Unfortunately, I only have about an hour or so until the um, event, or an hour until I need to start getting ready for the event. So, I'm gonna kinda be kinda quick with this because I do wanna relax for a little bit. All right, I'm gonna put y'all on the tripod and then we'll do a little haul. <sighs> Guys, I haven't gone shopping in months. So these are the bags that hold all of our new goodies. We'll start off with Zara. So my mom got me this cute leather jacket. I wanna say my sophomore year of college and I loved it guys. Any opportunity I could get, I'm wearing the leather jacket. Like, honestly, I wear it so, so, so much. But this year, when I started wearing it for work, I started to notice that the neckline was starting to get a little tattered. And I was like, ooh, mm, not the best look, especially when I wore my hair up. You could just see the, the neck part peeling off. 
So I was like, I think it's time for a new leather jacket. So I've been thinking about this probably the last four months, but really haven't made much effort into looking for one. But one day I went out to eat with my friend Rihanna and she had the cutest leather jacket. I was like, girl, where's it from? She was like, Zara. And I was like, oh, I've been hearing about this Zara leather jacket. I've yet to see it in stores. I saw it in stores today. Obsessed. I love it so much. It's oversized. It's a little cropped. It has a belt as well that I could also remove because I don't think I'm always gonna want the belt. But yeah, guys, I think this is so cute. I'll quickly try it on. Love, love, love. This has like an edgier vibe than my last jacket, but I really like it. Very, very cute. I think a leather jacket is something every single person needs in their closet because it's so versatile. Then I got these two little necklaces from Forever 21. This is a cute little one that says J. J stands for Justin. I thought this would be cute. And then I got this layered necklace because I'm into layered necklaces. So it has like almost like the paper clip chain, this like beaded one, and then another type of beaded one. So I think that will also be cute. Again, I'm really into layers lately. We crossed over into rival territory because I really wanted to talk to someone about my under eyes and I got some pretty good advice. Basically, she talked about how um, there could be fluid underneath my eyes. She was like, likely there is fluid. So I could do like a lymphatic drainage to get rid of that and also just making sure I'm moisturizing underneath my eye. She recommended me an eye cream, but it was a $70 eye cream and I really just wasn't sure about that. So I ended up going to Ulta to get a different one, but I'll show you that in a little bit. The highlight of my day is the fact that I got my hands on the topical lip balm. Y'all, this has been sold out everywhere. At every Sephora I've gone to, sold out. But the one at Millennium Mall had several, several. So I'm very excited about this. I'm gonna do a TikTok about this. So if you don't follow me on TikTok. Then, I'm always looking for new things for Justin. I like to spice up his closet. So I got him this suede-like shirt really with the intention of him wearing it open with like a beater or a white t-shirt underneath. I think that'll look really nice. Now, just a heads up, Justin is not into browns, especially like dark browns, cause he's like, everyone is gonna blend in with my skin. If he says that for this, I'm gonna give him like the meanest look ever. Like, Justin, come on. Justin is a chocolate man. But I, this is not his normal style, but I think he'll look really nice in it. So I'll let y'all know what he thinks about it. I think he's coming over today. So maybe I'll show you guys, who knows. Then I also wanted to go to Abercrombie to check out the Curve Look jeans. And your girl got a pair for $30, $30. These are the jeans. They are black size 10 and they have like the little rips at the knees and they're straight. I really like them. I think they're a nice basic pair of jeans that I need. I don't have any black like regular regular jeans. But now I do, so I was very, very excited for these and I was super excited for the price because I thought they were gonna be $50. So when I saw that it came down to 30, I was like, yes, because $50 was also a sale price. So your girl was just very happy. And then last but not least, the best place to go. I went to Ulta and I got two things. First up, I got this Clinique Moisture Surge Eye Filler. So I was telling you guys that at Sephora, the lady was talking about it could be fluid, yada, 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 moisturize your eye. And like I said, I didn't want to get the $70 eye cream that she suggested. So I went to Ulta, talked to them about the problem, and she actually suggested this. And she was like, you know, you don't need to tighten under your eye. Like it's not that loose. And also when you tighten under your eye, you cannot put makeup over on top of it. She's like, I don't care what they say. You can't or you shouldn't. So I got this and I'm going to give it a chance. And again, if I don't like it, I can always return it. That's the beautiful thing about beauty stores. If you don't like something, you have 60 days to return it. So got this and this was, I believe, 30 something dollars. And then to help with my um, eye lymphatic drainage, she suggested an oil. So I got the Good Molecules, ew, Good Molecules Squalene Oil. So it's also good that I have another oil because I've been using um, this LRP Hyaluronic Serum, but it's like a sample size. And I'm like literally probably on my last squeeze. So happy that I have another oil that I can use. But yeah, guys, that was our haul. It was a successful day. I feel great. Let's see how much we spent. Honestly, not that much. 70, that's 100. Then 
like 20, 50. Okay, we spent about $180. Your girl's cheap, so I normally don't spend that much, but that is not an egregious amount of money. I'm happy about that. That's the haul. Literally, I'm about to put on some pajamas, relax for the next hour, and then we have an event tonight. I don't know if I told you guys about this already, so I'm gonna explain it now. But I am a part of the Yelp Elite Squad. I have been for maybe the past four or five years, and I didn't really know there were any perks of it. Like, okay, I knew that they had events, but I feel like in Chicago, I never got pinged about any events. But when I moved to Orlando, I don't know what I was doing on Yelp, but I saw something about the Elite and I was like, oh, let me change myself from Yelp Elite Chicago to Yelp Elite Orlando. As soon as I did that, I started getting notifications about the upcoming events. So Yelp Orlando is active, okay? And the first event of the year is, it's called an Elite Badge Bash. I need to read more about that. But basically, only Yelpers are going to be at this restaurant called So Do in Winter Park and Yes, two hours, we'll get to mix and mingle, we'll get to have food. That's what's bringing me the other food. But I also think this will be a good opportunity for me to go and network or introduce myself, potentially introduce myself to some future new friends, you never know. And this is an event where you can't have a plus one. So Justin cannot come with me, even though that will be my preference because I think Justin and I, when we're both like in good moods, we can both like go and socialize and i'm obviously more comfortable with being with him because also if i realize i'm trying to socialize with any with people and nothing's really hitting it off i could always go back no plus ones for this event so i'm gonna be all by myself but i think this will be good and i'm gonna take you guys with me um i'm just so excited because so dough i'm pretty sure is detroit style pizza which is the best style of pizza and uh, like i said it'll be good to like get out and meet people, fingers crossed. Y'all know I get nervous in new social situations, but I'm feeling good today. So that's that. But anyway, we're probably gonna change our outfit because this top, it like falls down a lot. You can see my bra. So we'll probably change into a different top and maybe a pair of different jeans and maybe retouch our makeup, but I think it looks nice. So yeah. All right, talk to y'all later, bye. I finally got my hands on the highly coveted topicals mint lip balm i'm very excited i love topicals but i'm also a big lip balm girl i may or may not have a carmax addiction so i've been wanting to find a replacement lip balm so that my addiction can go away hopefully this is where topicals comes in this costs 16 dollars, and like i said it's very hard to get your hands on this this barrier building balm protects relieves and soothes dry parched lips used for long lasting moisturized lips and wherever you're feeling parched cool how do you use apply to dry parched lips <laughs> reapply as needed so this so this is what the packaging looks like Beautiful. I feel like Topicals always has like nice packaging and I feel like it's always like a little more unique than other brands. I'm expecting a strong mint smell. Oh yeah, but it smells good. I feel like mint helps you believe that something is happening. So I'm very, very excited. Let's apply. I took off my lip liner and my lip gloss that I had on before this. My lips are feeling a little dry though. Instantly, you can tell that I have something on my lips. It's shiny, as I feel like we would expect it to be. I like the mint smell. It's actually not too strong of a mint smell. I've used other like lip balms and I'm like, oh goodness, it feels like I have mint just sitting right underneath my lip. But this smells good. I like how it feels. I heard someone say that they feel like it's too sticky. I actually don't mind a sticky lip gloss. I don't know, I like it. I'm gonna wear it for a few days and I'll come back if I have any other thoughts, but so far, I like it. I have not tried the Road Lip Peptide Treatment, nor have I tried the Summer Fridays one, but I have used Ula Henriksen's. I've used, ah, there's another brand that I've used as well. But so far, I'm really liking the mint smell of this. And you know, when you use mint, you have like that cooling sensation. I'm liking that as well. So topicals, I'm happy that I finally got my hands on this. I literally did zero relaxing 
but it's okay. We are actually adding on the strap to my leather bag. I forgot that it had a strap, but I think this event would be a nice time to add the strap on. Mm, it's looking dumb. So we'll figure this out another time. <laughs> this light in my apartment, it's not dark yet, but it's also not light anymore. There we go, that's better. I'm keeping the same clothes on. I realize the place is a little farther than I originally anticipated. So I'm about to leave right now and that'll give me some time to decompress in the car and to get my nerves out because I feel like now I'm getting nervous. Ugh. Anyway, let's go. I'll take you guys with me in the car. By the way, I don't think they fixed my dishwasher. Oh, they did fix it, yay! Yay! So I'll have clean dishes when I come back. Okay, I have y'all on my, what is this called? Middle console. I'm about a minute away. I'm actually gonna be late, which is fine. I just wanted to get there a little early so I could get my mind right. Y'all know I get nervous, but it's okay. Um, yeah. So I consider myself to be a pretty friendly, sociable, outgoing person. I think I'm an extrovert, but I get really nervous and anxious when I'm in environments where I don't know people. Specifically, when I'm in environments and people know each other, but I don't know the people. Like that like freaks me out. Like if, well, I'm actually thinking about it. On Thursday, I have an event where everybody will know each other and I won't know each other. I won't know anybody except for one person, but I feel like because it's a small environment, I'll feel different. But anyway, I don't know a single person going to this event today. I don't know the demographic of people. I could be the youngest person. I could be the oldest person. I have no idea. It's also a very small restaurant from what I saw. So I'm thinking it won't be that many people. But I'm nervous, guys. Ah! And the good thing is, worst case scenario, I go, I get some food, the food is good, and I just don't find anyone that I really hit it off with, you know? And I'm not even asking for someone where we are super related. Like, I just, it would be nice to have some good conversation while I'm there at dinner. So, that's the goal. I'm pulling up to the place now, I think. There is like a tiny parking lot that I can park at. Okay, there's two options. They have a little parking lot across the street or you could park down the street at Kiki's. I think I'm gonna try to do their little parking lot and if that doesn't work, then I will park at Kiki's. <sighs> oh my gosh, wait, this is right next to All Fired Up? I've been wanting to go there. Okay, I see a couple that just got there. We're parking at Kiki's. Kiki! We're parking at Kiki's and we'll have a little walk, but it's okay. I see some other cars over here, so I feel like I can assume that they're also here for the event. Oh, okay guys, I'm here. I'm gonna get as much clips as I can on my phone, but I'm nervous. Oh, sorry, you can't really see me. I'm nervous, but I'll update you guys later. Bye! Every time I fall in love, it seems to be at the wrong time. You walked into my life, and I knew right then and there I wouldn't get you off my mind. But then I looked you up, and there you was. In your arms, all cute and stuff. You got someone full size freaking up. Why does my Um, yeah, the event was literally six to eight, like you're sitting the entire time, but it was good. You guys saw the clips that I got. Overall, I would rate the place an eight out of 10. On the Yelp scale, I would give it a four out of five. I thought the food was good. I love Detroit style pizza. It's my personal favorite style of pizza. And we had, oh my gosh, we had so much food. We had the cheese bread. We had the salad, we had three wings. We had, what else? After the three wings, then I think we got into the pizzas. 
I'm pretty sure we had four to five pizzas. So like a lot of food, I ended up bringing three slices back um, so I could have it later or tomorrow. But overall, like the event was good. I sat at a good table. It was nice to socialize, learn about people, their Yelp experience, things like that. I, was, I asked the question, like, what are some places that you feel like are overhyped um, in Orlando? So overall, I enjoyed myself. And I realized Orlando actually has a lot of food spots. Like, I guess every city has a lot of food spots, but I feel like there's much more to explore restaurant-wise in Orlando. And I'm very excited for that. Um, we got some cute... Oh, I thought I left it. We got some merch. The first thing is this. It's dirty because I literally drank out of it. But this top places to eat Yelp cup, which is cool because it matches the cups I already have. Obviously, we got food. Oh, and then it's just a Yelp Elite bag tote. So another tote to add to the collection. But it was cool. I have to put the content together. <sighs> because we went through an event, we can't leave just a regular Yelp review. So I'll wait until we get the link for that. But overall, enjoy it myself. I really like the owner, hearing his story. And I think that Detroit connection, of course, you know, maybe biases me just a little bit. But yeah, I enjoyed myself. Justin is on his way. He should probably be here in the next five to 10 minutes. Um, I'm gonna go ahead, put on some comfy clothes, and then we'll hang out for the rest of the evening. Did I tell you guys my dishwasher works now? I feel like I vlogged that, so I believe I have clean dishes because I see the little clean light on. I need to cut. I need to edit some of my cousin's college essays. I really want to get that done tonight so that she has enough time to make her edits to my edits. But um, yeah, today was a really good day, guys. Tomorrow I go back to work, but I'm very thankful to have a job. A job that I enjoy especially so yeah but it was nice to like cosplay as a woman that doesn't have to work but can buy herself things I'm like looking at my schedule oh my gosh I have a bunch of meetings tomorrow not a bunch like where it's ridiculous but just more than I would prefer but it's fine anyway I think that's gonna be the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed spending the day with me. I enjoyed taking you guys along with me. I really wanna be better than I was in Chicago with showing you guys more of what I do and getting more clips of things. So yeah, this is like, this is helping me. You guys know that Orlando wasn't really the most exciting place for me to move. I really just moved here for Justin and the warm weather was nice, but it was really for Justin. So it's nice being able to find things that, um, that I enjoy. Me and Justin will definitely go back to that pizza place one day. Um, yeah, I wouldn't say I made any friends at the event, but I was definitely friendly. Um, and it just reminds me that I am good. I am always fine in these situations, even though I get nervous right before. I'm gonna go. Thank you guys again for watching. Be sure to give this video a like and leave a comment down below. Let me know what's your favorite type of pizza. I'm very curious, like what's your favorite style? If it's not Detroit style, then don't leave a comment. Just kidding. But. I want to know your favorite style and I want to know if you've had Detroit style pizza. Hopefully the answer is yes. Um, and if you're not already subscribed, I feel like you, you, you have to hit the red button now to join the family now. Like you spent like a whole day with me. So I feel like you have to join the family. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go. I'll see you guys in my next vlog and I appreciate your support. Bye.